make him travel into it, make him travel into it, travel into it, pull him down tight, and take my right leg now and push him across. And everybody's got a million ways that they want one broke. I think if you kind of stick to that, kind of trotting those circles, getting that horse's body broke, shortening him down and pushing him around with that off foot, it'll make the transition of going to one hand a lot easier. Like when I want to go like this, now when I lay that off rein, that horse steps across. Take him the other direction, use that off rein, step that horse across. And kind of these simple mechanics apply going into this deep. Ask him for that stop right there. That's the kind of stop I like, really like, I'm not asking this, you know, kind of two-year-old that's had 45 days to just break his hocks, you know. Uh, a pet peeve that I have or something that bothers me is when I see somebody break a two-year-old down to a stop like this. You know, that, that's not what I really want. I want to see them ride that horse forward enough and get that horse's body broke enough to where that stop is just natural, like it's just a float like that. You know, that's where we need to start with the stop. You know, I, I think so much of it is we got, we don't want these horses like a John Wayne movie where when you lay the rein across your neck, their head hangs up in there. But there is a certain amount of that that comes in handy. There's a certain amount of, of having that horse, like you can have that horse so broke to where, and I've done it myself, that's how I, I know to work on it. There's a certain amount of that where when you run your, your offside rein across that horse's neck to turn to the right, especially me, you know, mine, uh, nine times out of ten are going to hang their head up like this. It's, it's, I, I call it getting a horse so broke you can't steer them. You know, so I'm constantly working on, on getting a horse broke to where it's effective broke. You know, it's something I could use type of a broke. If I've just got them just that noodly and that broke to where I can move every leg the way where I want it, it almost works against that. So to me, you really can't skip this process with them because everything that you do to a really good horse that's very responsive, it matters very much. So if you don't have them broke enough to turn around and you drive them up there to that cow and that cow scares them and they run off, and that's the first thing in their mind, that's the first thing they learn, you've already taught them something that you're gonna have hell getting off of them because that horse, if it's good, is that responsive and that smart, it's already figured out a bad habit. So you know, to me, that's, that's why I, I, this process is, is not to be rushed.